and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you an Animal Crossing New Horizons tour. Before terraforming, I wanted to show you what my island looks like before terraforming so that people can have an idea of what they need to do to get a three star island. And so here it is. This is my map. As you can see, these are all my residents. And this is Fauna, Eugene, Flo, Snake, my favorite, Francine, Knox, Rodeo, and Peggy. And so I'm just going to take you on a tour around my island and you can see exactly what I did to get a three star island because I just got terraforming today. This is my passport. I just said started from the bottom and we still going up, which is a reference from come back from BTS. But aside from that, let's just go to the beach. So on the beach here, you can see my lifeguard chair and some beach chairs and a sandcastle and I'm basically going to make like a play area on the beach soon and then I have a lighthouse and a windmill which I just realized is backwards and then I have this flower garden right where the resident services is and basically I just planted all these flowers here because I want to breed them so I can make a different different colors and different types of flowers and so that's why they're all just sitting here and then I'll place them around my island as I continue to decorate. I do have a whole idea for my island and you can get an idea of what it's going to be with my flag there which I made myself and I'm very impressed about and so I have an idea for my island and you're just gonna have to wait and see until it's finished when I'm done terraforming and fixing it up so if you want to see that make sure you subscribe but anyway this is my beach area so I just have all these things here where I have like a little private beach where I can study and relax and a bonfire because I'm like obsessed with the bonfire. I love it so much. This is my house, which is really ugly. I will show you guys that by the end of the tour. And then I just plop the museum over here. And so if you go over there, that was the first bridge that I made to get across the river. And I just have that sign there to show you which way to go. You can see that there's a lot of water on my island. So I'm gonna get rid of all that. I'm literally gonna tear down my whole island, like all the rivers and all the inclines and start from scratch. And so this is my entryway to my campsite, which is upstairs, not upstairs, up the hill. This is the entryway. It's not in front of it because I just had to deal with the space that I had, but I just have all that stuff there. And then if you take these stairs, it takes you to the entryway of my campsite, which I'm actually really proud about. I think I'm going to keep it even after I terraform just because I really like it. I'm going to condense it a little bit so it doesn't take so much space up, but I just have some bikes and a hammock and a magazine so you can read. And I guess I left some furniture on the floor. I didn't even realize I left that there, but yeah, this is just my campsite. And then there's a lot of trees on my island still, and that's because before you unlock terraforming and stuff, there's a lot of things you have to do. So I just keep all those trees so that I can shake them for furniture, which you get two furniture a day if you didn't know that. Shake them for wasp, which you can get five wasp a day, which is worth $3,000 each, so that's really good and also um, for money. But the money, you only get like $1,000 a day, so it's not really worth it. But anyway, there's nothing else um, there that I can show you without jumping over, and so we're just gonna get there later. But for now, we're gonna go back over the bridge, and I'm going to take you to my houses for my villagers. So you can see here, actually, this is where I put Nook's Cranny. It's just in the middle of nowhere, really. Uh, I didn't know where to put it and then this is the beach area and I met one of my villagers here this is Eugene I like Eugene a lot but he clearly doesn't like me so we're just gonna continue with the tour if you go down the beach here this is where I have my gym I like it on the beach I'm definitely going to keep my gym on the beach I really like how it looks it's really cool it's not done yet but I'm going I have a whole idea and plan for that so stay tuned and then this pond I hate this pond so much you can see I'm just going to a heartbreak emoji or whatever on this pond because I hate it so much I'm gonna get rid of that first and then this is Peggy one of my villagers she loves me so much so I always talk to her um, no matter how much I talk to her she's never mad so she's so cute and then this over here is my other villager, Flo's house. She is one of my starter villagers. She is so annoying, so I'm not going to really talk to her for a long time, but I'll never get rid of her just because she is my starter villager. 
and yeah and then i have this other problem with flo's house i accidentally gave her all of these bugs and fishes when i first started because i didn't know that she was going to put them in her house so i don't know how to get rid of them if anybody knows how to get rid of them let me know i'm pretty sure you just have to fill their house with other types of furniture so i plan to give her some other furniture and then this is my favorite villager snake's house and that is eugene's house and then over here is the abel sisters and then if we go down this way, there is a bridge across this river. And this is where I keep my orchard with all my fruits. I have a little bird pond there. And then this is my collection of windflowers. I love windflowers so much. They are not my island's flower, but I just love them. And so I was trying to breed a lot of them. And I think I did a great job of doing that. But I'm de I definitely like the idea of the orchard in the middle of the water. So I'm going to keep that idea. And I wanted to put the bridge here. That's why I went back over there to show you. But I couldn't due to how the river was formed. So I put it to the side there. But that's all going to be changed. And so if we go over here to the other side. This is Knox's house. And this is Francine's house. And she's home so I'll show you. I'm really happy that she's home because her house is really nice. I love her house. And she's really a pretty villager. I like her design. And she clearly just has a lot of style. And she's very posh, and so I definitely don't think I'm going to get rid of her. I like her a lot. And then once we leave Francine's house, it just takes you over here to Peggy's house, which I showed you before. The, the pig, I really like her. Her house is nice too. And Fauna's house is nice too. Um, she's my second favorite villager. And then this is Rodeo's house. I love Rodeo's house, but I really don't like rodeo that much i don't know i know she's a lazy villager but i just every time i talk to her we just we don't vibe i don't know so if she asks me to leave i'll probably say yeah you can leave but i mean for now i just enjoy the look of her house it looks so good i'm very sad that fauna was not there or that she's not in this tour i don't know where she was but that was her house and her house is also really nice and then I just have some trees here, which is where I get a lot of wood. And I'm going to be probably taking those all down eventually. But yay, I was so happy that I ran into Snake, my favorite. She is so... I just love her so much. Every time I talk to her, she's happy to talk. She's a workout crossing villager. I don't know what you call those, but she loves to work out. And so here she's just teaching me a new reaction, which I was so happy about. Because I love the distress reaction, so I finally learned it. And I just love her so much and I'm happy it came from her. Anyway, this is the rest of my beach. I just have this boardwalk here, which I plan to keep very simple. I want to look out at the beach, basically. That's what I want that to stay as, but we'll see what happens as I continue to change my island around. But there's a lot of empty beach here, which I plan to decorate soon. And then there's this green patch, which I hate. I'm definitely gonna get rid of that. And over here is my beach cafe. I really like this beach cafe. I'm definitely going to keep it and revamp it. I like the idea of it. It's really cute. And I have some instruments in the back here because I thought that KK Slider was going to be singing like in an area that you built. So I made like this makeshift area, but he just sang at the resident services. So whatever, but I'm definitely going to make that even better because I like the idea of an on beach um, music area. I really like the beach area. I'm going to deck the beach area out because I'm going to put so I have so many ideas, so many things I'm going to do there. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I don't know when that video is going to come out when I'm, whenever I'm done, but whatever. This is my park. We're not even going to acknowledge this because it's so trash. That will be revamped too. But on the other side of the waterfall is the campsite, which I already showed you. So we're just going to take a ladder and go up here to this kids area I made. Now, there's no kids on this island, so I don't know why I have this area, but I just have so much kid furniture. It's crazy. Like, I have so much, and I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. So I just made that park there, which I'll figure out what to do with that another time. But over here, I did not really do anything. I'm just showing you guys this area for landscape purposes so you can see what my island looks like. I just kept all the trees here, and I shake these trees, like I said, every day for furniture and wasp and stuff like that. So that is what this area is for. Back there is where that crusty fox Reed is who tries to scam me every single day. Well, not every day because he doesn't come every day, but he tries to scam me. So he will he will be back there whenever he comes. He comes like once a week. And then over here is the last part of my island, which has a little river and a tea area. It's like a zen tea area, relaxation area, which is far from being done. It actually looks pretty trash right now, but... 
that is what it looks like so far and I'm going to revamp that too and so that is pretty much all of the parts of my island and it needs a lot of work but I have so many ideas and it's going to look so good as soon as I'm done with it who knows when that will be it's going to probably take months but this is what it looks like so far and then my last part of the island I'm going to show you is my house now my house is trash so do not judge me but this is the living room I'm actually so happy about this rug I love this rug so much I got that from the rug lady today and so I, that's like my favorite part of the whole living room but this is just some bookshelves and a lamp and a sofa and it's very simple right now I don't even have a TV or anything like that and so it's pretty trash um, but we're just gonna go to the other room which is the kitchen and the kitchen is the worst room in the house so do not judge me for this horrible kitchen but I literally just put all the kitchen stuff that I had in here and try to style it that table and that chair literally is actually a garden chair it doesn't even belong in here I just made it when I had like that house thing I had to do to get villagers to come to my island and I just put it in my house because I had nothing else to do with it but this is trash so we're gonna leave this area and I'm going to take you to the other room which I made into my bathroom now my bathroom is very very simple I want to keep like a white bamboo tile greenery kind of bathroom and it's gonna be very cute I don't even have a toilet yet so it's kind of trash that's just a bidet and I don't really know what that thing is on the floor but yeah that's what it looks like so far and I mean it's kind of cute it's kind of simple you know and then if we go to the room here on the side this is my favorite room in my entire house this is my guest room it's a mermaid or ocean guest room Airbnb area I guess I really love it I love the furniture in here this is like my little makeshift aquarium I'm going to put a lot of cool fish that I get and make that aquarium on the wall and then I have some mermaid items that I got from that scallop guy who being the ocean this is this room is literally like courtesy to him because he's giving me all this stuff that I have for in here and I love it so much so I decided to make a whole room out of it and it turned out well it's not done yet though but you know and then if we take the upstairs here this is my bedroom and I got this rug from the rug lady I don't know what she her name is but you know you know what I'm talking about that lady and I just have all this furniture in here I actually really like this room so far I love that bed when it's customized and I I think it's nice so far I just have some rotten furniture and then I have a teacher's desk and a school chair here because I don't have furniture for a desk but I really wanted one and then I have my collection of KK slider on the back of my wall and so that's what it looks like so far but that ha it has to be changed it's just it's not the greatest so if I go down here I'm just really distressed because I do not have my basement yet I haven't paid off my loan but I will pay it off and then I'll have my basement so I'm just going to head back over here to the flowers to finish this tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. As you can see, my island is not done yet, so do not judge me. I have a lot to do with my island, and I have a whole idea of what I want to do for my island, but I don't want to give it away. So you're just going to have to subscribe and stay tuned. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this tour. This will show you what you need to do to get a three-star island. That way you can finally unlock terraforming and make your island great. So I hope you enjoyed the tour and I hope to see you in the next video.